all right we are back with our garden update a lot of these things came through the winter with us this right here is a sunflower these are red potatoes and sweet potatoes i have peas sprouting up as you can see i have this growing this is a type of melon i'm pretty sure it is cantaloupe i did not plant them but from our keyhole gardening as you can see the seeds and stuff they'll fall out so i have some type of um squash or zucchini growing from the compost keyhole gardening and sunflowers Right here we have some beautiful onions those are red onions collard greens some flowers red onions another type of onion some tomato plants have sprouted from our keyhole garden that's the importance of compost you just keep it keeps giving we have some bok choy and this is actually a mango tree growing from compost because all our beds start with compost. Some bok choy and a sunflower. This right here is pretty much mainly a flower garden. I'll put something here, but there's no vegetable here yet. One of our compost bins, as you can see, we have stuff growing out of it. This right here is all just different flowers and mint. So this is where we feed our bees because of course your garden thrives off of bees. So all these flowers grew back from last year. We have some marigolds coming, which are great for pests and things in your garden. Um, and our mint <coughs> came back also. We have some more onions over there. Now to this little greenhouse we go and we have some Swiss char red potatoes. These right here are not weeds. These are called cleavers. Um, my midwife Deshaun made uh, a video of it on her YouTube. You can make a tea out of them and they help drain your lymphatic system which is it controls a lot of your health issues especially if you're overweight or you have um, you know weight gain in certain areas uh, that you need to cleanse we have some green onions and then there's some peas sprouting here some collards purple cabbage back there collards purple cabbage some kale my children's clubhouse they call this y'all see that kale right there and then right here this is blueberries this is um my third year of having these i forgot to prune them so i just let them do their thing and they've produced every year let's go around our lovely go karts and right here i've already harvested i had this full of potatoes so i already harvested some and then of course i just replanted potatoes here so i um, you know just leave the potatoes in like a closet until they get eyes and then when they get eyes I just put them right here another keyhole garden another um, collard greens our lovely chickens it's one there she goes stop it quit being mean to her She's a rescue from an egg farm. 
So she's already producing eggs for us, but we don't eat them. Um, collard greens need to be cut, need to be uh, harvested. And potatoes. These are red potatoes. So, um, in my greenhouse, right now I have a dog visiting. So I have nothing in there. And in this garden is my daughter's garden. So she planted a little bit of everything in here. I see she pulled up the marigolds. She probably thought they were weeds because when they first start, they do kind of look like weeds. So I will um, keep updating as we go along. Um, I don't know how much more I'm really going to add to this garden yet because I am almost due. So I may just um, add some things to the greenhouse and then, you know, just kind of chill on gardening just for maybe a few weeks and then come out here and plant some more things uh, but this is our beautiful garden it does not cost a lot to garden and a lot of these things were actually salvaged from the store uh, these bok choys right here I trimmed the I got them from the store you know and I kept the ends same with this collard green same with the kale and those collard greens over there I just um uh, Got a bunch and then used my scraps that had the cluster at the end of them that you buy from the grocery store and put them in soil. Uh, same with these potatoes. I bought them from the store and I just let them grow eyes, the sweet potatoes. You need to plant the whole sweet potato or you could plant what you call a slip, which is, you know, this little. I just added dirt to Hello. it right here. Hey, beautiful love. Right. <gasps> you are so cute. Get from up there, down there. Are you and then, okay? Yes, I'm okay. Thank you for checking Big on me. Big Walker. He's not his name. And then as you oh, can sorry. see. I bumped into the wrong hole. We're getting other fruits and vegetables. Because of, um composting so composting these right here will feed your garden for the whole year and when we have our chickens out they uh come and they peck at the fruits and things like that so it feeds your chickens too so it's it's a lovely situation here um like i say you get more fruit and vegetables off of them and then they feed your chickens our chickens could almost eat well our chickens don't eat tr uh, traditional chicken feed so our chickens are um, reliable really on the garden a lot of the time right now they're closed up because like I said we have a dog visiting and I just don't want any situations <laughs> Thank y'all for enjoying our update. Go ahead and like this video, share this video if you learned anything. Comment below if you can give me advice on anything. Um, you know, we all gotta stick together in this gardening world. I know I need to add more dirt, <laughs> more compost, all that. So I definitely know that. And um, I watered today already even though it doesn't look like it but that's that texas heat for y'all so go ahead and click the like button follow subscribe share this video out we live in the city and we're growing our own food and we're homeschooling barefoot and pregnant peace and light good people